So let's speak to Fran Boyd, who's Executive Director at the campaign group Positive Money. Fran, good morning. Um, look, we've seen the volatility and we talk about those numbers from like 19,000 to 4,000. I mean, that's ultimately what's behind this. It's so volatile and Lloyd is saying, look, we don't want to be part of this just yet. Exactly. Today we're seeing yet again another bubble bursting, this time Bitcoin. And the move from Lloyd's is that it doesn't want to be on the hook if the price continues to fall, which it's like to, likely to as it's a bubble bursting. The concern is by the move is that a lot of people has, have taken out debt in order to buy Bitcoins. Uh, and the worry is, is that you know, people, there have been stories of people investing their life savings in this. As the UK economy continues to, to decline and more and more people are struggling to make ends meet, the worry is that they're looking to riskier and riskier ways of, of making money. And Bitcoin and hysteria we saw uh, towards the end of last year seems to have resulted in a lot of people taking out debt to buy Bitcoins. But should a bank be in a position where it's telling people what they can and can't do with the money that they want to spend on their credit card? Well, uh, as we all know, banks have various regulations on uh, credit cards and what you can and can't buy. You know, if you if you buy a car on your credit card and it falls apart, the bank is liable. And it's making a move here to say it can see that the the bubble is bursting, and so um, it's it's actually putting a stop to it. I think what we need to also think about is the hype around Bitcoin. You know, it is uh, a bubble at first, but it. Although it is a flaw in its uh, in in the technology and it, it's turned into a speculative asset, I think that you know, as the cryptocurrencies explode, uh, we're going to see governments and uh, central banks kind of struggling to figure out how to regulate things. But actually, behind that, there is a uh, technology which could be used for actually making our money and payment system more fair. Yeah, and you say the bubbles burst, but I mean, we should be clear, these things can go up in value as well as down in value. And there's nothing to say that, you know, the big falls we've seen of late, it can't just go back up again. Well, if you look at the actual trajectory of, of Bitcoin since around 2011, when it first came on the scene, uh, the real hype and hysteria that we've seen, that the, the, the rate of growth in the last year really, and then the fall again, is unprecedented. You know, up to £14,000 per Bitcoin at its peak, and we're already down at uh, 5500 after just in a month. So it's looking like that this is definitely a, a Bitcoin bubble bursting uh, and unlikely to happen on this scale again. Uh, one we'll keep a really close eye on, as I'm sure you will too. Fran, thanks very much. Fran Boyd there, Executive Director at Positive Money.